y'all, it's Shindy. So in this video, I wanna talk to y'all a bit about affirmations and the ones that I use every day in my own life. So I actually didn't start using affirmations until a couple of years ago. I read the book Think and Grow Rich, which if you know about me, you're like, that doesn't really sound like something you care about, thinking or growing rich, and it isn't. But what I really like about the book is that it's kind of the book that all the other like thinking positively, attracting things from the universe, like the secret style book, they're all pretty much just based on this one original book from like the straight up olden times. So I read the book and I was like, okay, this has some real lessons for me. And the thing the book talked about that really blew my mind was what is known as the coup method, which was created by Emile Coup. He was a French psychologist or something like that. And essentially he had this method where you could say something, you could completely occupy your mind with it, and you could turn it from an idea in your mind into reality. And there are some key things that are really important when it comes to using this method effectively. Essentially, you're focusing on a positive result versus focusing on something negative. You are actually imagining and truly feeling in your being this result happening versus like internally having that resistance to the idea even being true. And you're actively working against that self-conflict, that willpower, and you're really giving yourself over to your imaginative power to think about this new reality you wanna create. The famous phrase in the coup method is every day and every way I'm getting better and better. I remember when I first heard that phrase, I fell in love with it. I love that it was every day. I love that it was every way. It was, it was like every conceivable way that I could improve, I am improving it and I'm doing it in every single moment. That was so powerful for me and so I made that my first affirmation. I wrote it on a post-it note, I put it on my mirror and every day, I would read that affirmation out loud to myself. And so over time, I would just come across different phrases and things that would really speak to me and really make me go like, hmm, okay, I like this, this feels good. My soul enjoys this. And then I would just write that down and add it to my affirmations. So over time, as you can imagine, this list of affirmations grew quite long <laughs> and I took a break from reading them for a few months. And I wouldn't say my life got worse because I wasn't reading them because honestly, I feel like I had read them so much and so often that they really were just a part of my life and it stopped being something that was aspirational when I would read the affirmations to being something that was actually just like true and I was just like nodding along like yep this is true about me and randomly a few months ago I came across my affirmations and I was like why did I stop reading these I love these because you do feel a noticeable change in your body after saying and thinking such positive things about yourself and your life like it does feel really good and so I brought it back up again and I thought I would share it with you all just because I know for me it's just been really helpful and the phrases and the words have just really meant a lot to me and I hope you can get something out of them too my affirmations are also taken from the Bible so I would also read Bible passages and ones that really struck me or really inspired me and and really spoke to the way that I wanted to show up as a Christian, I would write those down as well. And I would change them um, into affirmations versus just the verses. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just read these out for you all. Enjoy them, soak in them, all right? Note down the ones that are helpful for you. And go ahead and just let me know in the comments below if there's any that really speak to you, if there's any you're gonna end up using, and if there are any affirmations that you have that you use that you think I would really benefit from, because I am always looking, even though my list is already long. I'm always looking to add more to it, you know? Like there's no shortage of wonderful things you can say over your own self and over your own life. All right, enough rambling. Let me go ahead and get into the affirmations. And before I do, give this video a thumbs up, all right? And subscribe, all right? I appreciate it. I appreciate every one of y'all, all right? We out here. All right, I'm gonna read these affirmations out and I'm gonna put like the text over the screen and then we'll get real up close to this microphone, okay? And hit y'all with my sultry, whispery voice. So go ahead and prepare yourself emotionally for that, okay? And when you're ready, let's go ahead. So my affirmations are called all things to God in prayer. I do justice. I love kindness and I walk humbly with God. I seek the Lord and he hears me and delivers me from all my fears. Love flows to me in every moment from every direction. With God working through me, nothing can stop me. I know everything I seek can only be found in the present. Every day and every way, I am getting better and better. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three. And the greatest of these is love. The only thing that counts is faith grounded in love. And I do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Like every day, miracles have lined up to greet me and blessings have called out my name. I humbly receive them all and I lack for nothing. I am present and I am paying attention to the things that bring me joy. I enjoy every moment God gives me. I choose courage over comfort. I choose to live and to live abundantly. I am disciplined. I am enthusiastic. 
I am confident, I am successful. The Lord gives me health, the Lord gives me wealth, and the Lord gives me wisdom. He comforts me in times of distress and His love never fails. I am happy with myself, I am kind to myself, I show love to myself and others. Dear Lord, if it is your will, I will be paid well to do meaningful work I love. I will be holy like you, my Heavenly Father, are holy. I will be wise and innocent. I remember that it takes all kinds. I put first things first. I am always growing in my faith in you. I embody compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience in my heart, mind, and mouth. My speech is always gracious, seasoned with salt, and I know how I ought to answer everyone. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable. If there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, I think about these things. I keep on doing the things that I have learned and received and heard and seen in Jesus, and the God of peace is with me. And I know that unless the Lord builds a house, those who build it labor in vain, and that the reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches, honor, and life. So those are my affirmations. I say them every morning and every night, pretty much. Sometimes, of course, you get a little sleepy. Sometimes you get a little distracted. For the most part, I really try to say them, and I find that once I do, it just truly brings this like calm and this peace over me, and I feel truly like ready and armed to go into the day and make it another beautiful day filled with blessings. Hope this has been helpful for you all. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if it has been. Subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!